exhausted feeling. I can't hide from him. Okay, let's kill these lights. Dude, this game on the hardest difficulty is zero joke. Zero. Oh yeah, no, no worries, dude. Nothing. It'll help you feel better. Legit. See you. Where are you going, man? I keep waiting to hear this. And then die. Dude. Ooh, don't mind me. You don't see me. What's that shadow? Nothing. You didn't see crap. Go away. So apparently to get the good ending in this game, you don't want to kill that many people. And so that's why I'm, I'm not just, you know, gah, 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 everybody. I don't know if I need to clear that top. I can't even do quick saves on this difficulty. It won't let me do them. Oh, leaving those guys alone. Yeah, it's uh it's gnarly, dude. This is this has been a gnarly, gnarly, gnarly run on this game. I've been enjoying it. Harder than hell though. We're gonna take this guy. Come on, smoke a cigarette. Pull a cigarette out. Pull a cigarette out. Pull a cigarette out. At least I'm not getting shot. Yeah, you're not getting shot at. You are getting beaten though. You're sitting there wondering why I'm not just lighting everybody up. <laughs> okay. Let's see if we can get in here now. Alright. What do we got in here? Captain? Don't move. Don't shoot! Don't shoot! <laughs> I can pay the, the goods. Take them. You can take the goods. Stay calm. It's us. We don't need your goods. Your tugboat, on the other hand. You can collect it at the bridge if you play your cards right. You got me? Uh, yes, of course. Yes, of course. Order your people to stand down and nobody gets hurt at once. Uh, listen up, people. This is your skipper. Stand down and surrender at once. He did the right thing. It's Dude, nice we did work. Nice. Now go. We didn't have to kill everybody. <laughs> Great job, Artyom. Nice, dude. Artyom, all of our guys are fine. You did great. I feel so accomplished right now. Mm. That's a huge win. That was a huge one. I think he could have actually lost, like... I think we could have actually lost, like, story people here. Man. That was that was the most stressful stuff we've had on this. You ever play any of the Metro games? They're, they're pretty phenomenal. I kind of forgot that... I owned this one. It's uh, post-apocalypse Russia, post-nuclear war Russia, I should say. Very cool story. The first two were more about these aliens that came to protect us that we weren't really knowing that they were there to protect us. Interesting. And we tried to kill all of them. The first one we do, but they, they some lived. It's nuts. It's super good story. Incredibly good story. Used to be anyway. Now it's a shrine. Blade. Closer to God at the top, you see. You say hi to puppy. That's where you have to go. Ah, your puppy. Diggy says hello. It's got the sacred lineup. Sacred lineup. Sacred, sacred, sacred. Hey, you are sure. Catch the line! 
I don't know what that is. Hey, sailor! What did you do to your barge? What you gonna sell now? <laughs> Whoa, oh, okay. So yeah, my little pug. So, Artyom, shall we move? Whoever gets there first wins. Break a leg. I feel like we need to get there before him to protect him. Come on, baby. RPGs? RPGs are fun. No joke. We are going to do, probably when I finish this game, because I've never played it, a full playthrough of Final Fantasy VII. Would that be fun? I think it'll be fun. I had it... Okay, you gotta hear the story. So I had it when I was a kid on PlayStation 1. Um, I never beat it because... PlayStation, we went from Nintendo to PlayStation, and I never, ever, ever knew when we got our PlayStation that we needed a memory card. And I was like, how am I supposed to beat a three-disc game without, like, stopping? <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah. But we have the next best thing now. I bought it when I was in the hospital last, uh, so I could play something on uh, my wife's tablet, or Surface Pro, or whatever it's called. Uh, but I don't think we're going to be playing it on Steam, because I have it on Steam. I think we're playing it on this. Because then I got original. I'll get to use an original PlayStation controller with this. I don't know if you've ever seen these. These are like 80 bucks. They can like... 60, 50, somewhere. They come like, they're like little preloaded consoles. But yeah, I think we just might use a capture card and, and play it old school. Give me a second, I'm gonna grab some water and get the scene back up. I need some water. I need some water. Water. Thank you. Wow, what? Wow. The the PSX or whatever it's called, I don't know if you've have you heard of those? You get they they have them on for all sorts of consoles. That's an alt tab out of the game. Probably crashed. Um, let me see. I can. Uh, PSX, I think is what they're called. M mini. Hold on. Mini PlayStation. With preloaded game. Okay. I did not spend $100 on mine. Yeah, I think this was it. I did not spend that much. Did they go up? Holy crap. But it has all these. Final Fantasy VII, Grand Theft Auto, uh, Resident Evil. So I want to start doing like some, some retro playthroughs with, with this thing. But that's, that's literally what it is. But I know I did not spend that much or even close. I think I spent like 50 or 60 bucks. Should I sell mine? Because <laughs> that's insane. You're not wrong, but yeah, because there's like a Nintendo one. There's a uh, there's a um, uh, PlayStation one. There's a Super Nintendo one. I think there's a Sega one. I think, but yeah, they got a ton of preloaded games on them, and they're they're rad, dude. Well, I hope your subathon goes good. That'd be fun. I'd do a subathon, but nobody's gonna sub. <laughs> but we got we got sub badges now we got emotes we got all the things yeah but nah yeah sadly I can't remember you're in the US right your inflation is going strong here brother hey 
Oh, that was me. Me, Siggy. In Arizona. That's right. That's right. Siggy, shut up. Siggy, please, for the love of God. Okay, Siggy wasn't lying, it was good. Please hold. How was your walk? Oh, he's bare. Did you do the whole thing? Really? All the way down to Mel's and back? Damn. Damn. We just got to talk to a little old lady. Very sweet. You gotta say hi to Puppy. You want to Puppy? And we got bye bye. Why is your shirt come over? Looks so bad, right? <laughs> Look at it. I know. Good thing you didn't have Siggy. She would have never let you leave. She loved Aries that much. Maybe this is... Hello. Hello. This, uh... This viewer... Who's been around for a while... Was down with a 100 plus degree fever for like 4 or 5 days. Right? That's what I said. And I was like, dude, you're killing... You're actually killing me. Finally had a mini pizza and now having Skittles. Gatorade, probiotic, eat some yogurt. Right? <laughs> but honestly, after you've had after you've had that many days of like not eating and still not like feeling good, I get I get just being like, oh, this actually sounds appetizing and, and then eating it. But sugar does hurt. The Skittles will hurt you in the long run. I didn't actually used to believe that, and then a couple times I got a cold, and I had like candy or something when I had the cold, and I'm not kidding, like within an hour, I would always feel immediately worse, because it takes down your immune system. Your hair is crazy right now. Hey, bear. Hey, bear. Hey, bear. <laughs> Go to sleep, okay? She says, no, good night. She's just burrowing. <laughs> Kicking her feet. I love you, beautiful. Please, please get some rest. Dude, this kid, this kid's got um. Oh no, absolutely, it is something. It, especially since you're actually enjoying it. it. That's huge too. All right, let's see. What do we got? Trust me, I'm not judging. I just say be careful. <laughs> Just tell me what he said. A heretic actually arrived right at this moment. Our guys rushed over to save the holy father. We got night vision. Right? No. I like that's why I'm saying I'm so not judging you for it. After that many days of feeling like crap. Just having something that you go, this actually tastes good is huge. That was a weird death. We're definitely not going to attack. No attacking. Is this where we came in on? Yeah. Okay. We're chilling. We're chilling. Yeah, right now it's just important that you get some some food in you and you're and you're okay with it. And you're not sitting there going nothing sounds good. I have zero hunger and the food the thought of food repulses me at the moment.
I can't go further up that way. Excuse me? Brother. Oh, brother, my brother. How am I supposed to... Shiznit. I had to change my keybinds because there was something being stupid in this game. So now I need to change... C for throw secondary? That's ridiculous. Yeah, I know. Okay. Cool. But now you made me want pizza, you rotten, rotten, rotten human, you. What is making that noise over there? I don't know, you both sh one of you should go check it out, and one of you should stay. I don't want to kill you. Dude, come on, really? Am I in the light? Yep, they can see me there. There's got to be a way around. There's no way that this is it. Is this door... Nope. We got caught. I don't know how, but... Oh, because we used... They shouldn't be able to see a flashlight through a train car like that. Or a board or whatever the hell it was. Jeez, dude. So what was on your mini pizza since I haven't had pizza in a few days and I'm craving it? No, I think they saw, see the little, on my watch, that blue light, that blue light means that they can see me. And so I think, because they don't hear that, I didn't see that before, which was what I was like, oh, hey, I could just do that. You see, this sign means Beck. Beck? But he and Creel vowed to eradicate all the demons. Oh, you should just come back after that. Well, ask anyone. Keep looking over there. Keep looking, keep looking, keep looking. Thank you. One of the new ones freed them. Stealth. Yeah, man, what's what's over there? Yeah, check that out. Bop. Mega bop. Yeah, we gotta dodge all the double triple stacks. I can't. I can't see. How? No, I'm not. I'm not. Just leave me alone. One kill's okay. I don't need to. I don't need to kill all of them. It's so dark. You can see me. It's two kills. It's more than I wanted. Hopefully that's it. Everything's calm now.
Is this open? No. Um, no. God, now I'm just sitting here craving pizza. I had, to be fair, I always crave pizza, so it's not that big of a deal. Okay, it's dark. We might be able to get this guy now. True. I think I killed too many. Well, if we get the bad ending, we'll just YouTube <laughs> the good one. I feel bad. You're fine. Alright, give up. Put your guns down. Put your guns down. I'm not going to kill you guys, it's chill. I even holster my weapon. I had a pretty long ways to go. Pretty long ways to go. Damn. No, I don't. Let's look. How far back is this load? I want to I want to be able to do it. I think we can do it. Let's do it. We're going to do it. I don't want to lose anybody, and I don't want them to die. The goal of the game is to... Well, in the first two, this guy was like... I know. I know there is, like, a world outside of where we are. I know that, you know, there's life beyond... The metro, which is what they all lived in. So they literally all lived in just a tiny subway station since since the uh, since the nukes went off. And he hated it. He always was the kid that was like, I want to be free. There's This is wrong. We're not supposed to be here. Like We're supposed to be out in the open, breathing oxygen. So he gets to the point where he worked with these other ones and other stuff like that. And they think the other ones are bad guys, but they actually end up being good guys that are watching out for humans, and we just didn't know that. Long story short, he ends up helping the the dark ones, as they call them, in the second game. And they, in turn, help him and help humans stop from having a huge meltdown and killing, you know, the last surviving people in, in Moscow, where they live. Um, now... It would please God, though. That's Simon. What next? Did he just put the sign of the cross? Um. Now. The game opens with all of that said and done. Because there was, like, warring parties in, um. Even though the war was over, there was kind of warring parties. There was Nazis and communists fighting for just, like, the metro and everything else. Shit. Hold on. I'm trying to talk and think at the same time, and I can't. 
Okay, so on this one, everything's done. Everybody's happy. Everything's peachy, but he's still pissed because he doesn't want to live in a subway station watching people slowly deteriorate and die, basically, right? They're not thriving. They're just barely existing through through the chaos um, and, and through the apocalypse. Um, and so in this one, he accidentally finds out Hey, we did it. Hell yeah. Um, in this one, he finds out accidentally that they've been blocking radio signals in and out of Moscow because they are, were trying to hide that people were still alive because they figured that the war was still happening. Oh, God. What am I supposed to do? And so, basically, they find out that the whole world has been going on without them, and it's been hidden from them, and he's, like, pissed, and so they take this train, and they, and they leave, and they get out of Moscow. And he's all high as a kite about it. And that's pretty much where we're at, is we're just trying to find our own our own way in the world. And we don't ooh, we don't know what we're doing yet. We got eated. I didn't see any saves in there, so I'm curious where they're going to put me. So yeah, that's why it's called Exodus. It's like their Exodus from uh, from the end of the world, essentially. And then and, and they like, they, they had to breathe out a gas mask due to all the radiation and everything like that. And then, like, they're starting to go through and they're like, oh my god, there's clean air, there's this, there's that. And they're like super pissed off about like the powers that be that were hiding all of it from them. Yeah, it's been an incredibly good story. I'm assuming I'm supposed to jump on that. Because where the hell else am I going to go? Freaking out, man. Why? I can't. Thank you. And these people are just a cult that reject technology because it. We just stumbled upon them on our travels. And obviously, Satan is attached to electricity because. Electricity and everything else caused, you know, the downfall of, of man because of the nuke and all of that nonsense. So, yeah. It's a floating hatchet. What? Poor K. But this one, the, the last one was a track game. This one is open world, and they did open world so... Really, they've done open world so well. It's been really cool the way they did it, and how they've set it up so far. Do this again. Do this, do this. Do this. Do this, do this. I will be with you and will keep you safe, provided you are true in your devotion. Provided 